guys, before this video starts, I want to take a moment to dedicate this video to Autism Awareness Month. It affects a lot of people, including myself, so I wanted to say that. With that out of the way, enjoy the video. Autism Awareness Month, you know what that means. I don't. I'm doing something special this month, and for this week, I'm going to celebrate it with the Stunicon, starting off with Drag Strip, which sadly is not a stripping drag queen. What, what, what a disappointment! Drag Strip released alongside his fellow. Wait, what? Drag Strip released before the other Stunicons. I guess this was to promote the second wave and to throw in another Decepticon in the start of Combiner Wars. As you can tell, some fans got upset from that. I didn't care. We got the Stunicons anyway, so thanks for the salt. Drag Strip is basically Will Ferrell in Talladega Nights. If you're not first, then your mom gay. Drag Strip is so full of himself that even his fellow Decepticons can't put up with his bullshit, but he doesn't care. They're just jealous. They wish they had a whole 10 subscribers. Drag Strip transforms into a formula inspired racer, sadly missing the two extra wheels the G1 famously had. BOO! That aside, the coloring is nice and the detail work is pretty good. The purplish red and cheese orange is really cool! And look at what's holding the wheels, that looks really good. No paint on the back, but with the mold and design, does it really need it? You can fit the universal combiner attachment to the top and fit the thumb into the spoiler to help hold it in place. Gotta say, I like the look, the blade can plug to the side, but meh. Did I bend it? No. It's supposed to look like that. Alright. The black cockpit doesn't support a specific driver, but maybe a decapitated unikitty could work. I'm not sure if the head's too wide, but the front doesn't seem to tab down all the way. And because of that, Rolling's blah. I would have preferred the six wheels. Just feels like a bit of his personality has been taken away. But I really like the shaping, and it feels nice. Robot mode. Drag strip in robot mode, and where did you get the punk rock makeover? Pleading eyes? Hidden emotions. Man, the proportions on the whole looks different. What a curvy man, but I oddly don't mind. I think for a new drag strip it works, and at the very least, he stands out from the crew. If you want to change things up, you can untap the back, rotate the spoiler, and pose it like so. If there's one thing I don't like about the toy, it's the knees. They have a loose wiggle that feels kinda shitty. Did someone say, I'll take a light? Tight ball joint in the head on this scary stem of thin plastic. Hinge and ball joint in shoulders, rotation below, elbow moves, wrists sway, waist rotates, ball joint hips, rotation below, and knee joint, and some foot posability if you want. Too bad that head's on tight ball joint, because that stem of plastic has me scared. A face only a mother could love. I can't tell if he's got a stupid grin or he's the Dark Knight Joker. You wanna know how I got these scars? No, not really. Let's look at some stuff. The figure includes a gun from the Universal Combiner Attachment and the blade that can be used as an awkwardly held gun. Oh, look at how curvy he is. Damn, he's got some attitude. Don't have a cow. Is that supposed to be sleeves? Okay, I... What? In leg mode, I think it works, with the nice curves that complete the silhouette, and the front of the car that expands out and works around it. I think it's one of the better legs in the series. Too bad the head's right there. Usually, drag strip is shown in R mode, so that's what I'll usually display him when it's combined. It's not too bad, the arms are right there, but I guess it kind of forms a bulky arm if that fits. Hand seems to pop off easily, and the elbow wiggle isn't doing it any favors. You can give him a knife if you want, you puss. Drag strip certainly isn't bad, and I really have a few issues. In robot mode, he looks pretty different, but the drag strip vibe is still in there. Just a little more emo punk metal rock kid, which, hey, I think it works for him. He's the only stun con of the first wave, so I think he's pretty easy to get, even today. So get yourself a blue face McFinnigan. <laughs> 